So the B-29 called DOC is currently at the Tallahassee Airport on the north ramp. They're doing tours and flights on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, I'm going to be out there with my EAA 445 to uh, help out. Uh, you got to come by and uh, take a look. Hello, everyone. Uh, tonight I wanted to talk about rib nuts. So I wanted to talk about uh, rib nuts and the a couple of different tools uh, used to uh, install rib nuts. And if you don't know what a rib nut is, this is a rather large one, but it's uh, that's an M8 rib nut. And what it is, it's it's a it's threaded so that you can install it in a piece of thin metal. Uh, and give threads so that you can screw a bolt into it. Um, so if you're using a fairly thin piece of aluminum, you, you obviously can't thread this. So you would add a rib nut, probably something smaller like this, so that you can you can install a bolt into it. And what the tools do is they take this rib nut here and they squeeze it like a rivet so that it compresses around the aluminum so that it won't come out and it won't spin. And there's a couple different tools and I have two. So I have a manual rib nut tool that I got for another project. Um, this one I got off Amazon. I think it was less than 40 bucks, 35 bucks. Uh, I'll throw a picture up with a link. And then I bought out another sling builder who had to abandon his project. Um, and uh, I bought a number of tools from him and this is one of the tools that I bought. And this is a Astro rivet nut drill adapter kit. And basically this is the fancy quick one. And this is the old school, what's probably been around forever. Um, I've used both um, for installing some riv nuts. I actually, uh, the, one of the adapter pins was, was frozen on, on this one because it had been in its storage for a while. So I used this one to install some riv nuts in the empennage and, and it's easy to use. Uh, there's, it's a no frills. Um, it's, it, it adjusts the same way that this one does. It's just, you squeeze it like a pair of big snips or uh, something. Whereas this one attaches to your drill and it uses the motion of the drill to retract the pin, which is what compresses the riv nut. So I'm gonna install a riv nut and kind of demonstrate that real quick. And then we'll come back and we'll talk about these two. So I'll, I'll try to demonstrate how this works. It's gonna be kind of hard um, with the camera and holding the, uh, the piece of the aluminum. Um, but you insert the riv nut through your hole and then you hold on to this part. You, you put your, your drill in forward and uh, let's see. We can see that and then it retracts to squeeze around the piece of aluminum. And it creates a fatter piece around here, um, which keeps it clamped to the aluminum. And that's all there is to it. Now, another thing you can do, and what I've been doing, is you can put a little dab of epoxy or some more thread sealant or something on here to help the riv nut attached to the aluminum, uh, just to make it a little more durable so that it doesn't spin if you over tighten a, a bolt that you're screwing into it. But that's all there is to it.